Welcome back trainers and we're finally going to be taking a look at Skarmory in the Ultra League. Now this Skarmory specifically that I do have here has seen quite a few battles. I'm talking all the way back to Boulder Cup. So I was able to get myself another one. This was lucky so I decided to eventually completely max this out. So was it good? Well let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm going to be rolling with the same team throughout this whole video. That's going to be the Skarmory. Alolan Muk and Polyrath. So I'm going to be leading with the Alolan Muk for a couple of these battles and then I'm going to shift it over to the Polyrath because it just seemed to be working out that way a little bit better because of all the Swampert and it was just getting a little annoying having that lead there. So anyways, I'm also going to be cutting down the video uh, from size say to around 50 minutes, 40 minutes, a, a little bit shorter uh, because I did ask you guys on Twitter what is the length of the video that you do prefer and it was around 25 to 30 minutes or so so that's uh, what we're going to start doing here so anyways we have the giratina and i'm going to tell you this right here right now about the nerf that it did receive for ancient power not just for giratina but any ancient power user but specifically going up against it here i noticed a massive drop in as far as the damage that it is going to be doing to me so that is going to be a bit of a bonus here in helping Poliwrath and many other Pokemon pull up the win against Giratina. So, yeah, it's definitely noticeable for sure. Anyways, uh, so we have their Alolan Muck out here. And I'm just going to go for the Gunk Shot and hope they get off their energy here. And they do, thank goodness. I don't know if they could have necessarily really farmed me down before I was able to get to another uh, Gunk Shot there. But they're able to actually farm down my Poliwrath, which is not good for me. But we're not in a horrible position here because we do have the Skarmory. They're hitting us with an Acid Spray, so I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to actually take it all their Pokemon? So I know they have a couple weak in the back, so let's see. There's, there's that Swampert that was just getting on my nerves. So we're going to go ahead and shield up this Hydro Cannon because it'll do a decent amount of damage here. And you did see the top Pokemon that Skarmory is going to be going up against for PvP poke on the side back there. Uh, so looking to farm, uh, I was getting too nervous. It was about to hit a Hydro Cannon. Had to be. So we kind of are able to win that there. <laughs> Skarmory, let's go. All right, so it's going to be good up against Polyrath. Venusaur hard counters Venusaur, as you're going to see uh, down the line here. It's going to be great up against those charm users, because as you may know, with Polyrath, it's just going to get melted away. With the Alolan Muck up against a charm user, it is going to be hurting it. Yes, we are going to be part poison type, but still, it is going to be chunking away quite fast. And with our Muck only having Gunk Shot, which is going to be the only super effective move. We have to gain quite a bit of energy, but with the Skarmory, it is going to be enabling us to resist those. So it is making a nice addition to the team here, and I found it fun to use for sure. So we're matched up against the Polyrath or <laughs> the Alolan Muck with our Polyrath. And they're going to be using their last shield. We still have two shields at this point, so we're looking pretty comfortable here. We're just going to go ahead and go for this Ice Punch up, but they make a switch into Giratina, so not a bad choice to go with there. We're just going to continue on with our Polyrath here, just keep laying down those and then make the switch here, because at this point they're going to be able to faint us down and gain energy, and the Polyrath's not going to be able to get off another charge, but they did hit their charge at the same time, so we don't have to worry about it. Going in with the Muck here, and this is going to take it out, and they have their Muck. All right, so we still have two shields at this point. I think I just go up until the very end without using them. So bringing in the Skarmory and they have a Machamp in the back. So yeah, uh, GG. <laughs> yeah, so Skarmory's gonna be able to take them out and they do back out at this point. It wasn't lag or anything, so good games. Moving on to the next one here. Let's see what we have going on. And it's gonna be a Charizard. So all I know is we need to get rid of that thing and not let the Skarmory see it because that's gonna be bad news. Uh, being that steel type so they let the dark pulse go through expecting a dragon claw at this point uh, but I still used the shield so that wouldn't have done much damage and now they're going to have the potential to go for the blast burn and take us out I make an impulsive switch here to go ahead and go with the polyrath to potentially catch the blast burn but unfortunately didn't necessarily catch it like I wanted to but it, I mean I guess I still took a blast burn they're going to be bringing in their giratina and we're going to be able to spam them with these Ice Punches here. So Polyrath has been a magnificent addition to multiple different teams while testing out Pokemon here because it is so solid with that Dynamic Punch as well as Ice Punch. It does have great coverage as well as being pretty tanky. Uh, it's just a very reliable Pokemon. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and go in here with the Alolan Muck. And we still have a shield. And they're going to be hitting us with Dragon Claw. 
A couple of Garatinas got the boost, uh, I do believe, maybe just one in this video. Uh, so we're going to go in here with Skarmory and just farm down at this point. We have no shields and they have two. So we're going to just do what we can do with the Skarmory up against the Giratina here. So we're going to be resisting the Dragon Claw. Ancient Power is just not that strong. Let's see if they have Shadow Sneak. So people are going to be making that shift. Do you necessarily want to change it on your Giratina? Well, if you want to give up the possibility of maybe getting a boost with Ancient Power as well as doing super effective to a few different types, then go ahead. Uh, personally, for me, I would still run Ancient Power. Really, actually, dependent on the team composition that I did have. So we're going here with Muck. Uh, we have another Muck out there, hitting it with Gunk Shot. Unfortunately, this is uh, going to be a Dark Pulse and take us out because we're just too low there. All right, good game, and moving it on to the next one. And yes, Skarmory CP is fairly low. Uh, it is level 40, obviously, and if you're going to be using it, the IVs that you want are going to simply be the best that you can get, 100%, preferably. Uh, so we are met with a Lapras, and yeah, well, this is great for us, expecting a potential switch. That's why I didn't get off the charge move, the dynamic punch right away. Uh, let's see, and they're still continuing on here, so now we're going to go ahead and go for dynamic punch before we overcharge here. And they are going to be blocking that up and switching into Glade. Perfect. You know what we have for that? Skarmory. Let's go. We're going to be resisting the confusion. Synchronoise also resisting that. I do not know if they have close combat. That would actually put a dent into my Skarmory here. Uh, but nonetheless, even if it was that, I would have still not shielded it up. Even though I didn't really know what they were going to use. And they're going back in here with the Lapras. So... Yeah, I mean, the ice moves are going to be hurting it, but then again, we are going to be part steel. Uh, Skarmory is just kind of squishy-ish. When it does resist moves, it does go go great for it, but otherwise, it, you know, it's not going to be your tank option. Uh, that's certainly for sure. Um, our Polyrath is more of the tank of the team at this point. A little bit muck, eh. It's, it's a hard-hitting move, Pokemon, for sure. Uh, so anyways, they're bringing in their muck, and we're looking great. We still have two shields, and we can... I think we can take them out with dynamic punches if we do decide to shield up again here, because those snarls aren't really doing much. Yeah, we decide to shield up. I think we can make it. Yeah, another dynamic punch is going to take this Alola muck out, and we take the win! Alright, so Skarmory, really liking it. You're going to see it's going to start heating up. Uh, it's going to have a little bit more action, and... The team's going to have to really rely more on the Skarmory down the line for these battles here. So, I did make a switch into my Lola Muck into the Mewtwo, and then they're going to be switching into Venusaur. And, let me tell you what, this is good for us. I don't think I should shield up anything and just do as much damage as possible. Now, the only problem in this specific matchup, which will get better examples down the line, is by the time I get to another Snarl here, I should get to one. Okay, never mind. Do I shield? I let it go through. What I was going to say is I was going to bring it so low I wouldn't have been able to farm. But that Frenzy Plant didn't take us out. And actually, here comes that problem I was describing. But they use a shield and switch. Okay, that works for me. What I was going to go and do was uh, farm down with the Skarmory and just have energy for whatever they did bring in. But they did make a switch, making themselves locked in here. Going for that Sludge Wave, doing big damage to our Polyrath here. But we're still in a comfortable position. They are shieldless at this point. And I do I shield up? Okay. I'm pretty sure I knew that was going to be a Dark Pulse, but we kind of want to keep the Polyrath healthy anyways uh, and not lose this position. So getting that Mewtwo again, and we're going to go ahead and go in here. We're going to be resisting any sort of Psychic moves. And it is a Psy Strike, not doing too much damage to the Skarmory, that part Steel type. Uh, the damage in which the Skarmory is going to be dishing out to this is not going to be that much, but let's go ahead and take a look. At least it's able to tank these Psychic moves as opposed to the Polyrath here. So it is holding the team together at this point. I'm uh, going to go ahead and shield this up. Because we don't want our Polyrath seeing that confusion. Alright, but they're making us switch into Venusaur. So we're, this is going to go down immediately here. And are we going to be able to get to another Sky Attack with our Skarmory? And we do. And that was extra quick. Did you see that? We weren't even at, like a full charge because of the lag there. Alright, so Skarmory is indeed helping us out quite a bit here. So... Uh, I'm going to tell you, it was tricky though, for some of these battles, it didn't work the best all the time. And like I said, kind of reducing the length of the video and giving you kind of almost the best of the best, as well as, of course, a few losses as well here. Uh, so we are going to be making a switch into our Muck. And this one has Shadow Sneak as well, so 
seeing quite a few people transition from Ancient Power to Shadow Sneak here. Shadow Sneak is still going to be resisted, uh, while I think Ancient Power would have still just been the move to go with. I know they probably don't have it, um, but that's just me. At least you have a chance of potentially getting the boost there. Uh, but Shadow Sneak can most definitely help your Giratina out in some situations. I'm very able to take that Giratina down, and we're just going to go ahead and go with these Dark Pulses. We're not going to switch. We're going to wait for them to just take us out here because we're in a comfortable position. We do not know what that last Pokemon is. Dark Pulse is chunking away. We do have the Poliwrath to answer to this Lapras, and they know that, in which they're going to be making an immediate switch into their uh, Venusaur, and we're going to our Skarmory. All right, time for Skarmory to shine. So... You may have seen this matchup before, similar to the Great League. Skarmory is just going to be able to farm it down. Now, it isn't going to go down as quick as the Great League farming, and the Frenzy Plants are still going to be massively resisted and pretty comfortable. I wouldn't say completely farming it all the way down. You know, gain a bunch of energy and then hit it with the Sky Attack. Maybe not charge it all the way and then kind of farm a little bit more after that. So anyways, they are retreating. And they did have a bit of energy on that Venusaur, so we need to be careful of that. So we're going to go ahead and get off this Sky Attack here and then switch into our Polyrath. They are shielding it up and we're going to be able to absorb whatever the Lapras throws at us. Unless it was a Skull Bash, we still would have been able to take that. Uh, but we know at this point it's going to be Ice Beam and Surf, I do think. Going for that Dynamic Punch. Could have potentially went for an Ice Punch, but we have plenty of energy uh, to go and take this Venusaur out with an Ice Punch there. And Skarmory helped out quite a bit there. Fantastic. So we're starting it off with Polyrath now. No more of that muck stuff. So good thing we did. We were met with a Typhlosion, but then again, Algorithm. <laughs> anyway, so they're switching into Giratina. And we're going to be going into our little muck. So uh, this is great for us, right? Let's see how much Ancient Power does. If it is, it's going to be a Dragon Claw. It's going to be a lot of the options people are going to be going with now. Uh, pretty much Dragon Claw. Ancient Power isn't really doing much unless it's like really effective towards you like you're a Charizard or Articuno or a Flying type of some sort or just an Ice type or just super effective in general. Then yeah, sure, go ahead and go for it. But it's really not doing much anymore and it's amazing. Um, it needed a bit of a, a, you know, nerf. I mean, Giratina, come on, come on. If you like using it, then, you know, cool. It's awesome. Anyways, so... This is going to be pretty close. I could shield here and potentially take the win, but I was just like, all right, I'm just going to let it go down. And I want to farm this potentially. All right, we got a little bit of energy. And then we go for that Ice Punch, not hitting all the bubbles because we don't need to. They are shieldless. They're going in with a Venusaur now. Let's see how this works. So, okay, perfect. So we're going to be swapping into Skarmory to catch this Frenzy Plant and preserving a shield. And they have Typhlosion in the back. And we have one shield, and it didn't have much energy. Yes, the Blast Burn is going to take us out. Easy money, but we're going to be able to hit it hard, too. Uh, so what we're going to do here is this. Get it low enough for the Polyrath to farm down with quick moves. Have two Ice Punches, and then take out Venusaur. That's it. That's the play. All right, sorry to spoil the, you know, the battle, but there you go. Farm down. Venusaur comes in. We have plenty of energy. We're able to go for the other one here on a shieldless opponent and take the win with the Polyrath. Alrighty, on to the next battle. Let's see what we have going on. What are we going to get for the lead? It is a subtile with the newly buffed up better energy gaining bullet seed. So we do make an immediate switch into our uh, Alolan Muck here and I'm expecting an earthquake out of that thing. It's just the whole energy gain deal with Bullet Seed. I don't know exactly how quick you can get to Earthquake. So let's see. Ooh, yeah, we just took an Earthquake to the face with our Alolan Muck. Not great, but that's okay. Uh, it's not going to really be able to do much up against this Karma here. So they're making a switch into Swampert. You know, I'm going to have to do something about that thing. Swampert, Registeel, Giratina. I can't stand them. You know, and <laughs> oh man, it's time to bust out the Venusaur. Anyway, so Polyrath can go toe to toe with it. We just need to look out for that Earthquake bait. And it's bad because if you get hit with it, then all they have to do is hit you with a Hydro Cannon basically after a couple Mud Shots and you're going to go down. So you have to really think about what you need to do with the Polyrath and potentially shield up correctly. Although you can never be 100% certain if they do build up to an Earthquake, right? Uh, anyway, so they go for that. We shield it up, right? 
uh, I wouldn't say it was a waste of a shield. I wanted to keep it alive. They switched into their Sceptile. We go for an Ice Punch and then switch immediately into our Skarmory to take out that Sceptile and any stored energy that they did have. We're going to be going for a Sky Attack. So the Dark Pulse is going to hurt us. Dark Pulse kind of goes through a lot of Pokemon doing a decent amount of damage, including the Skarmory here. So we're not resisting that, but we do resist Poison. Uh, so we're going to be going for the Sky Attack. Are we going to be able to take them out? Wow, that was a very close one there. And of course we go down and this is very close. Oh my goodness. I don't even remember. Did Oh, yeah, of course I win because there's no more shields. All right, good games. Polyrath taking it up at the end there. So on to our next one. We're met with a Charizard. Okay, I don't mind this. Uh, it's not the, you know, the best situation, but they decide to switch. Pfft. Okay, I love it when they do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Alolan Muck. And taking that Moonblast, it's you know, taking us about half there. We're gonna be able to spam the Dark Pulses a little bit faster. If they potentially go for an Aurora Beam, then I mean, they could bait us. It's a Future Sight. All right, that would have done even less damage, I do believe, than the Moonblast. They let it go through, they didn't want to shield up the Cresselia. Okay. Going back in with Charizard, we're going to be able to... Hmm. Hoping this is a Dragon Claw. It, it is. All right, so we're going to be able to survive and get this off. They're going to burn a shield, let it go through. Charizard's going to be wounded. If it doesn't, all right, they shield it up. Oh, this is bad because they just gained a ton of energy before we went down. So, hmm. Blast burn hurts, even though we're water type and a bit bulky. It's those Community Day moves, man. I'm just, they're just, ah, uh, so OP. All right, so just going to be going for Ice Punches here. They have one shield left. I don't know. What are they going to do? Dragon Claw or Blast Burn? Ah, I shield up. Didn't want to take the chance. They switch into Clay Fable. Oh, all right. Time for Skarmory to shine here. We're going to be resisting those charms. And they have one more shield. Ah. So at this point, I was thinking, should I farm down? Well, we're going to resist every charge move they throw at us, so we don't need to worry about that. But... The charms are eventually adding up, as you can see here. I was getting a little nervous. I could have potentially did a couple more quick moves, maybe one more, and had enough for a sky attack here. And we're going in with our Polyrath, but unfortunately they have a shield left, so potentially could have farmed a little bit more with the Skarmory, and I could have maybe won this, but it's not over yet. We survive. Oh, we we're so close to another Ice Punch, but we're not able to get it off, and they take the win, finishing us off. On to the next match. We're met with a Venusaur. So we do not want to go in with our Skarmory. We're going to go in with our Muck and hope they switch, and they do. Great. They go into a Lapras. So this battle has already been lined up for me. So what I'm going to do is take this out, potentially. Or if I go down with the Muck, then I'll just go back in with the Polyrath. And once the Polyrath goes back in, hopefully we'll be able to line up the Skarmory. Let's see how it plays out. So they're not giving up any shields. We're going to go ahead and give up a shield here so we can have the lead. As well as gaining a bit of energy here. So great. They're going back in with Venusaur. So we're going to just let this go down. We don't need a shield. We're going to go in here and farm with the Skarmory. Let's go. This is what the Skarmory was specifically built for. This and going up against Charm users for the Ultra League for me. But they're switching into Muck. So <laughs> we're going into Polyrath. Simple as that. They're going to be hitting us with a Dark Pulse. Pulse, not very effective. This is a fantastic matchup. You have to look out for the Sludge Wave and the Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot's definitely going to hurt you. A sludge Wave is going to bring you fairly low as well. Uh, and it doesn't take too much time to get to them, so you got to really be careful and kind of count exactly where it's at as far as the quick moves and where their energy's at. So we're going to be going for an Ice Punch because we're going to be able to finish it off with quick moves anyways, or Ice Punch should have been able to KO. They do decide to use the last shield, and we go in here and switch so fast and catch this frenzy plant that was their maybe actually i don't know they couldn't have won this there's not even if i switched even if i let the polyrath go down because i'm going to be able to farm it and i still have a shield they're using the last one yeah it was a game over from there from the uh, whole venusaur versus skarmory lead and now they're going to go in here they have energy we're going to be shielding up and then going for our Sky Attack immediately, and Skarmory's going to help us take the win here. You know, funny enough, I'm able to hit the ex Excellent on the Sky animations now, but <laughs> for some reason, I don't know what it is. The fighting animation is just difficult for me now. It's not like, oh, it's hard. 
I mean, you know, I'm doing what I used to do before, but I just seem to keep getting great. I, I don't know. It's weird. All right. Anyways, I'm getting excellent there. Great. So this was a little weird. There was some lag there. And yeah, they hit me with the superpower. Great. Then they switch into Swamper. I was trying to switch faster, but the game's being all, you know, buggy like it usually is. And that Swamper was able to gain a massive amount of energy. It doesn't take much time for it. Swamper is an extreme threat if you do not have something to answer it. It's going to be able to just hit you with earthquakes, hit you with hydro cannons, back to back to back. Yes, it's going to be very weak to grass, but if you don't have grass, you know, you're in a bit of trouble or dragon or something resisting it or another water type potentially. Like even Polyrath is, you know, a bit nervous to go up against a Swamper because of earthquake. It just hits so hard and they're getting stabbed. Make it an immediate switch into... Uh, our Skarmory here. We still have a shield left. Unfortunately, this thing is going to... I mean, let's see how this plays out. They still have three Pokemon. Trying to farm it. But that's getting a little bit brave. Superpower is going to hurt. Alright, so we're able to farm successfully. There's no more shields on their end. They're going in here with the Swamper. Please survive this. And we do. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, but, I mean... What do, what do they have in the back? I mean... Fable. Okay, then I back out. All right. Yep, they take that win for sure. <laughs> all right. Can't win them all, right? Anyways, we're met with another Melmetal and another Team Rocket outfit. What? Guys, what? Are you kidding me? That's a little weird, right? Another Melmetal with another Team Rocket outfit. Anyways, okay. So they're switching, so that's great for us into a Giratina. And we're just going to throw in our Muck. Uh, Muck handles this thing very well, especially because of the Ancient Powered... Uh, nerf as well and they're not giving up a shield at this point so hmm that's fine getting a dark pulse through is great anyways right so they get the boost okay um huh that, that's great well at least they got the boost while they're at the end of their lifespan there they're going to be using a shield probably both shields at this point to preserve it uh, we're going to have to do the same and get that thing out of here asap we do not want to deal with a boosted giratina they're using their second shield I think I use mine too here. No, let it go through. Oh, because they're shieldless. I have a Polyrath. All right, smart. All right, gotcha. Got it. I guess that's a nice place. So preserving a shield and there's that Mel Metal. So I kind of need it. Okay, so I had this in the bag. I knew exactly what I was doing, I, I guess. All right, so should be shielding this up and going for an Ice Punch. I wanted to farm at that point, but I don't know if they're about to hit me with another... Uh, superpower, which would have probably taken us out. They have a Swampert immediately for the Dynamic Punch, and then I should swap into Skarmory. All right, so that's doing massive damage. The Skarmory, Earthquake's not very effective. It's going to take two Hydro Cannons. So that's the first one. They have energy, though, but the Sky Attack, once it connects, it's game over. They're going for Earthquake. All right, so you definitely want to go for Hydro Cannon um, when you're up against the Skarmory in Ultra League. A good game. Skarmory is it's been pretty reliable here. So another melt what? Another Mel Metal, guys. Hey, they're not Team Rocket this time. These are back to back to back. Hmm. Okay. So, anyways, um It's a good lead for me. So they're switching into Clefable and you know what it is, bringing in the Skarmory to resist those. Exactly the scenario that I was planning for for the Skarmory when I did lead with the Polyrath, is if they switched into Clefable here. And it's not a farm down with Skarmory up against it. You you can't farm it down. Charms are just too strong, and Skarmory's not the bulkiest thing around. So you're going to have to get off your Sky Attacks, potentially saving a little bit of energy. Uh, I was contemplating going for a Flash Cannon, but this Mill Metal's definitely going to hit us, so we want to get it out of here. And they were looking to farm there. Pretty nice. So now they have a, a lot of energy. Mill Metal accumulates it extremely quick, and that uh, is a bit nerve-wracking. They're going to be able to spam those superpowers. They did use it, so they are retreating at this point into their Giratina. And we have this lined up great. So we're going to be going in here with our Muck. Fantastic. So as long as we can keep this, uh, we should be okay. Although, they still have a shield left. Do we have one? We have a shield left too. Okay, so this is looking really great. Uh, the only thing that will throw a wrench in this whole situation is if they get the boost from Ancient Power potentially here. Let's see. Dragon Claw. Alright, nothing to worry about. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Whoa, how are we going to do this? All right, we're expending our energy. We need that for Melmetal. Oh, this was a... Oh my gosh, this hurts. 
All right, watch what I do. Superpower. And I hit Ice Punch. I needed one more Mud Shot to get off to do Dynamic Punch, and I would have won this. But I go for Ice Punch. Are you kidding me? I deserve to lose this one. Yeah, Mel Middle, take that Polyrath out. Yeah, that's a loss. A deserved loss there. Anyways, moving on to the next one here. Polyrath versus Polyrath. Don't like this. I really don't. It's about the mind games. As you can see, we're both overcharging. <laughs> He's throwing a dynamic punch. I'm going to throw an ice punch and hopes I get a shield. And I do. Now, if you don't know, like, the reason why I went did that, if you're kind of new to PvP, is to preserve your energy while also burning a shield. So now I'm up on energy. And I actually got them to use a shield too. So this is great. They went for another dynamic punch. And... We're getting that through. Do I let this go through? I do. We're going to just go down and bring in Skarmory here. Let's test the Skarmory up against the Polyrath. Let's go. So, Ice Punch. Everybody's been doing that Ice Punch against it. A Dynamic Punch is going to hurt too, though. And they're going to be bringing in Melmetal. We're switching into Muck immediately. Now, I don't like the way this battle's going here. I've already kind of lost the matchups. Uh, we're going to do big damage here, but it's, you know, Rock Slide hurts, and it could superpower and switch out. Or superpower back to back. There's one. Look at that. Good damage. And uh, they're switching into Snorlax here. So we're going to go Gunk Shot, I do believe. And our Skarmory will be resisting the Body Slams, as well as not taking that much dam damage from the Earthquakes. Um, but, yeah, I was trying to catch it, and I just, I go in now. And we're going to go ahead and go for that Sky Attack and almost taking out the Snorlax. And they're able to get off a of Body Slam. Are you kidding me? All right. So we're going to just, you know, gain energy. We have a Sky Attack. We want to go for a uh, Flash Cannon. I mean, I don't know. Just trying to go for the most damage as possible. They're farming like hard, but our Polyrath has energy. I think our, <laughs> our Alolan Muck. Uh, what am I talking about? So we go in here, get that off, and take the win uh, with the, just a little bit of health on our muck there. So good game. Moving it on to the next one, we're met with a shiny Gyarados. Very nice. All right, so we know the Dragon Breath is going to eat us alive here. Uh, crunch, not very effective. What do they have potentially? Outrage? It's taking way too long for them to get off that charge. So at this point, I already know they're going to potentially try to hit me with... Uh, Maybe one of their bigger charge moves. Maybe an Outrage, and that's what it is. So good thing we shielded that up there. And they have still not used a shield at this point. Holding their ground and preserving those there. And uh, I didn't know if this would be another Outrage. I let it go through, though. And good thing, because it's just a crunch. We're able to get to an Ice Punch here. Polyrath's almost down. So if they have a Registeel in the back, not looking good. And... They have two shields still, so they're bringing in Giratina. Now, mm, that was bad because they're able to farm me. So we know Ominous Wind has been uh, nerfed as well. They're hitting us with Shadow Ball, still doing okay damage. We're going to be going here with Skarmory. So now we can see what a real Skarmory versus Snorlax matchup looks like here. They could potentially hit us with Super Power. I mean, but they're going to drop their attack and defense at that point. Probably not the best thing to do. Probably just want a Body Slam spam. Potentially they have Earthquake as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're probably just going to want to simply Body Spam that uh, Skarmory. So I want to farm it down. They make a switch. Okay, and we're going into our Muck immediately too. Alright, so how, how is this going to play out here? So that thing's very squishy, The that Giratina over there. It's not like the other one. But it is going to be doing a lot more damage. That is for sure. Even with resisted moves here. And it looks like they potentially have ominous wind. They're just not using it. They're just going for those shadow balls. Just doing as much damage as possible here. We have no more shields. So, ooh, that hurt. We're able to get to another one. But I think, yeah, they're able. And they switch. Oh, my gosh. What is it going to be? Our Skarmory is not going to survive a body slam here. And unfortunately, they take the win. Very good game. Good game. That was a close one. All right, moving on to the next one here. Polyrath. All right, you guys know how I feel about this one. Don't like it. Don't care for it. Uh, it's all about those mind games. So what are they going to do? Ah, dynamic punch. So good thing we kind of shielded that up, I guess. Now let's see if we can get them to shield up our ice punch. Nope. <laughs> That's not good. That, that right there is basically... 
I wouldn't say you, you've lost the matchup, but yeah, you kind of have already. Unless they decide to just not double shield uh, your dynamic punches back to back here. All right, so am I going to let this go? We shield it up. It's another dynamic. They're just going dynamic all the way, huh? No shield bait. Just take it out. So we get a shield there, which is good. Now we're going for dynamic punch. Let's see if they decide to shield up. They let it go down. All right, so... But we did expend two shields, so... Yeah. Uh, as we we're talking about, that's not a winning matchup anymore. Because I had to expend both shields. So, that's why we won. Anyways, Meganium. Um, they're farming us. But it's okay, we have a Skarmory. Skarmory can handle this thing. Easy money. The Muck would have to look out for Earthquake. Uh, but the Skarmory doesn't have to look out for anything. We're going for Frenzy Plant. Expecting a switch, and that's going to be into Registeel. Our fighter is down. Not looking too good. Skarmory, it's not useless up against Registeel, but you're, you're going to see a battle with them soon. It's actually able to hold its own, the Skarmory. So in this situation here, we're just going to be going for the Dark Pulses. They'll go through the, the Registeel and do good damage, as you can see here. No more shields left, so hoping this is a Flash Cannon. Really do. It's a Focus Blast, of course, we'll, you know. Anybody probably would go for a Focus Blast at this point. So, we're left with the Skarmory. Uh, they made a switch into Megadium to absorb that. That was very nice. This Focus Blast is not going to take us out. So, Skarmory, let's go. Come on, Skarmory. Are you going to be able to take out a Registeel for us? We're getting it dangerously low, and we take it out with the Skarmory. Let's go. All right. Like the Skarmory more and more every battle that I use it. So, this is going to be our final battle trainers so if you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and i'll continue to bring you battles using random pokemon here in which case the skarmory this time so it was really fun so the shiny polyrath all right let's see uh gonna go for that dynamic punch let well, me get it through all right so we're able to successfully bait with the nice punch all right, and we let that Ice Punch go through, so good call on our end. They're switching into Giratina. We're going to go ahead and go for one of these Ice Punches here, and then go ahead and switch into our Muck. And take control of this, unless they get the boost. Let's see. Let us see. Nice shiny, too. Those shinies look great. Wait, was that a boost? All right, I just went back and looked, and yes, that thing just got the boost. Right when we were saying that, we jinxed ourselves. So, we're going to have to commit two shields at this point. Or commit every shield that we have left. So, huh. Able to get it pretty low. This isn't going to take us out by any means. But still, we need to get that thing out of here. Before it sees any of our other Pokemon here. Boosted Giratina is out of here. Okay. Now we're looking alright. Going in with the Polyrath. And they're immediately going for their charge move. And not to, trying to farm down. Which is good for us. Skarmory time. So, let's see what they have in the back. It all depends on this. We still have a Polyrath to handle a Registeel. So, we're looking pretty good. They're going to be going for Ice Punch. Getting ready for a switch. And potentially another Ice Punch here. Maybe Dynamic. They go for Dynamic. As you can see, a lot more damage. And there is a Registeel in the back. And we have a Polyrath. Okay, so... Alright, we've seen the Skarmory. It's able to handle the Registeel to some degree. So, we should be looking pretty good at this point. And are we able to get to another one here? Okay. Are we going to be able to finish this off with Polyrath? Because the other one was fairly low. It looks like we are. All right, good games. Thank you for watching, trainers. And I'll be catching you all on my next video. Take care.